Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Guys, today's beer comes from Almanac Beer Company. This is the Remember the Future Double IPA. Uh, this uh, says here it's a hazy double IPA with a straw hop with mosaic. So, uh, sounds like a single hop uh, to me. It says it was canned here on the lip, not underneath the bottom. On 0111 of 22, January 11th. So, uh, very nice, and it's got a, a nice long, I don't know if I'm going to call it a description because a lot of times it's not a scripture, subscription, it's a story or a bunch of made up garbly goo. But anyway, uh, uh, don't think they're claiming it to be, well, yeah, I mean, let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, a wise cat once said, remember the future, there was a time when the IPA was always clear, a time when lush tropical aromas and flavors were not part of the IPA experience, a time when all of that was far off in the distance. This beer is an unfiltered tribute to moving forward with one paw firmly planted in the future. Notes of mango and fresh citrus permeate each sip. Don't take our word for it though, try it for yourself. Our memory is the definitely a little hazy. Then it has one pint, uh, 16 fluid ounces, and 8.0 alcohol by volume. And it's got a cat with a pair of shades on, on the front, so uh, got a sun in behind it. Very colorful. I mean, it's it's a nice looking beer label. Uh, hopefully it's uh, going to be a tasty beer inside. So, uh, Untapped says no IBUs and Hazy double IPA with mosaic, double IPA with mosaic. So the picture it, it looks cloudy. So I don't know if it's going to be depending on the lighting, whether it's going to be two of the New England style appearance wise or taste wise. So uh, a lot of these breweries don't claim to be doing a New England style on the package when it is, and sometimes vice versa too. <laughs> I claim it is, and in my humble opinion, not quite there. So, very hazy coming out. Seems to be decently carbonated. Hope it don't end up being overly carbonated. Now it's settled down just a little bit. So. But it's been in there almost a month now. So let me do the swirly swirl. That we get a, a nice appearance of what's in the can instead of throwing all the goodies in there in the last little pour. Right, a little less than two fingers are head, guys. Uh, it is hazy, it is cloudy. Not the bright orange juice cloudiness. Uh, there may be a slight amount of light coming through the thin part of the glass down there, guys. So uh, close, it's close enough in the appearance for the. Uh, like a watered down version uh, to me so uh, still good looking though what do you think hmm to the nose we go yeah I, I'm definitely giving the tropical fruit notes and some grapefruit and pine nice tropical fruit aroma it's uh that's very pleasant. I mean, it's got a real enjoyable aroma. Very nicely done. Let's dive in. Cheers.
And again, these guys are in California, so I think it's a little more potent than a West Coast style. So it's it's kicking on that door for a New England style. It's hazy enough, barely, but uh, very nice hop aroma, very nice hop breath. Tastes beer, alcohol is very well hidden for an 8 percenter. Very nice. Could be a go-to beer if you could get this beer in your area and at a good price. Uh, very impressive right now to me. Uh, I'm enjoying it. So right out of the fridge, let's go sip on it and find out where it ends up. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little bit left here. Nice last thing I left on the glass. Uh, to me guys, uh, it's like, it's got the bitterness of a West Coast style, uh, but it's got the haziness and the hop aroma and taste like a New England style. So maybe it's half West Coast and half New England. So uh, maybe that would account for the, the uh, thinner looking appearance in it. So uh, that's what it tastes like to me, like a half West Coast and half New England style. So uh, still very enjoyable. I mean, it, I don't think it's outstanding or world class, but a, a, a very tasty double IPA. It's very pleasant. Enjoyable beer. Final chug. This would definitely be a good go-to beer uh, for a double IPA. Uh, very well made. Uh, guys, to me, uh, it's got the date on it, it's got the ABV on it, it's a tasty beer. Uh, I'm going to give it 90, A uh, minus for me on this one. Uh, definitely uh, would purchase this beer again. Uh, very nice, very tasty. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. They have the brewery listed, but not this beer. So evidently no one has posted anything about this beer on that site, uh, even though it's been out for almost a month now. Over to Untapped, they've only had 86 people. So don't think it's getting a big distribution uh, uh, impact, but you know, these guys are in California and in Michigan, Virginia, so it's got a pretty big footprint. So uh, I don't know why it doesn't have more ratings than that. Uh, and they have it at 3.91, which is in their B-plus range. So man, I'm giving it just a tad better grade than that. So if you've had Remember the Future, double IPA from Almanac Beer Company, let me know what you think. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was tasty. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.